What's up, YouTube? Team TCG here, and we got something special for you. It's just dropped at Target. So I'll show you the box a little bit. Yeah, it says this pack contains five foil cards, three legendary packs, one starter deck, or sorry, it contains one of the following. Either a starter deck, a structure deck, or a special edition deck. All right, at first I thought it was all three of those. Holy crap, that would have been <laughs> such a good value. Now that makes sense. But they're 20 bucks, and yeah, if they, the legendary decks that they show you, like Sisters of the Rose and White Dragon Abyss, I don't know if they actually are going to have those, but would that not be so cool? And it's by Fairfield Company, and if you know anything about like the mystery products, um, Fairfield tends to do a pretty good job. So we got three of these bad boys that we're going to open up for you today, and then we got some first edition Ignition Assaults here to open at the end. For the hunt for the starlight rare, that may never happen, but it also, you know, may happen. So yeah, um, I'm excited for these. These oh, are man. Uh, fun little boxes. Um, I'm hoping that they're not false advertising. We do get uh, those Kaiba cards because uh, right, those, those Kaiba packs are cool. Uh, you know, like, oh yeah, they, they have one, the, the, three legendary packs. What legendary pack is Metal Raiders? What the blue? Two legend of blue eyes white dragons. What? Okay, legendary. I mean, I guess. Legend of Blue Eyes, but these tend to be legendary packs. These are legacy packs. Yeah, those okay. are legacy packs. That's and for our uh, deck, we ended up getting a starter deck. I guess that's like the worst you could get is like a starter deck, probably. Starter deck code breaker. Mm -hmm. And then for our uh, five foils, ooh, Dark Lord. Dark Lord Ede Ere, Ultra Rare. Hum Humming the Key de Gen. Hope for Escape. Um. This is not a foil card. That's weird. They're counting uh, rares as a foil? Okay, this just straight up is a common. What the? What the? Okay. And then for an, another ultra rare, Secrets of Eternity. That's a limited edition, so that's from a special edition. Huh. Well... Foil cards, three legendary packs. Well, this is not looking so good for this one because that is a straight up. This is just a common. Oh, one of one like this is a not a foil at all. This is definitely not a foil. This yeah. is a rare. Um, all right. And these aren't really legendary packs either. Okay, well let's just try and stay positive. Let's just open them up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, these just dropped and they're pretty new, so we'll see what we can get. Labyrinth Tank, Soggy the Dark Clown, Punished Eagle, oh my god, we pulled one of the Gate Guardian hey. pieces, Sangha of the Thunder, so we pulled a foil, that's very cool, Robin Goblin, Insect Soldiers of the Sky, Jellyfish, Swamp Battle God, and Nuitori. So at least uh, we got a foil out of our legacy packs, but uh, I'm I'm pretty upset. I was really kind of like, oh, I want to see legendary duelist packs, and then mm -hmm. it was a uh, that was a uh, sad sad, sad realization there. That's all right. Let's let's stay positive. Urabi, Meta Bat, hey Skull Redbird, Manita. That means we didn't get a foil. To Ruben the Fire Knight though, nice instant fusion target. Silver Fang. Vile Germs, Petite Angel, Succubus Knight. You know, I need to, so we're, we're actually kind of like tossing around this idea of doing like a progression series, but with like actual card packs. So, yeah. so if you guys ever see us do openings and we actually like set aside the legacy packs, and I know you're like, you guys are probably going to be like, what? No, legacy packs, you got to open yeah. them. Well, buddy, we've got a big plan out there. So you'll definitely see the legacy pack openings, but we have like... We have some cool things in the works here. Okay, this would be where our foil was if we got one. Oh my god, right leg of the forbidden oh, nice. one. Holy crap. What I mean, an it's, it's just, ultra rare. It's just a right leg, but I mean it's a leg. Um I mean that's one of the like the chase cards in the in the <laughs> Legend of Blue Eyes is definitely the pieces of Exodia. Man, I was like uh, you talk so much crap about these special editions, <laughs> and then you, uh, oh, basic insect. Oh, one more card. Furious Seeking. Talk so much crap, and then you pull a, a right leg of the forbidden one. Wow. Okay. Well, that was, okay, so let's let's get into our second one. Let's try and 
like stay positive here. Um, but the five foil cards, I don't, I don't know. I've heard that you can like uh, contact these companies. Jesus, they look. You might have, look at this. The glue is like not coming off. Okay, let's. That's weird. Let's try opening this from the bottom then. Okay, there we go. I've heard you can contact these companies because it's kind of like false advertising when they like don't give you the five foils. But uh, yeah. Uh, I also don't know uh, what's gonna happen. Okay, cause three. Look at this. Uh, another Metal Raiders and two Legend of Blue Eyes. So that again, no legendary packs. And then a, a another starter deck. Code Breaker. Okay, so let's see what we actually have for our uh, five foils. Sky Dragoons of Draconia. So another uh, special edition one. Uh, another Dark Lord Ed Ere. An another hum humming. The key to Jen, okay. Uh, and like, look at this. This isn't a foil. Th this yeah. isn't a foil. This is just a common. Like, why did they? Uh, why did they do this again? Like, that's just a rare and then a common. Like that. Yeah. I, okay, that's... so the rare, like, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, like someone's boxing these that like doesn't know Yu-Gi-Oh and they see like the foil text, so they're like, oh, this is a foil, even though it's clearly not a foil. But like the smashing ground, yeah. Like there's nothing that like, it's not a foil at all. Gigatech Wolf, Castle of Dark Illusions. Hey, Lava Battle Guard to go with our Swamp Battle Guard. Nice. Oh my God. <gasps> no way. Are you kidding me? Solemn Judgment. A Solemn Judgment Ultra Rare from Metal Raiders. Are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me right now? Uh, okay. Wow. Um, um, I... Oh, and then we pulled a cannon soldier. Okay, that's really... Are you serious? Look at this pack. Look at this pack. We pulled the Castle of Dark Illusions and the Pumpkin. We have the broken combo. What is this pack? What a... Okay. I... Uh... I mean, okay, I, I like I want to contact these people and be like, this is false advertising. You, you, this is not, we're not getting what you, what you said. But then I'm like, also like, get a little bit more than we should. I'm getting yeah. some pretty cool cards. So like at the same time, I don't want to complain, but I did really want a legendary duelist packs. Are they scaling these packs? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, they're, they're putting bad packs. They like not the right packs in there, but they're all scaled. <laughs> okay, Tai Hone. Masaki. Okay, so if there's a foil, it's gonna be right here. An ultra rare Gaia the Fierce what? Knight. Um. I, I don't even know what to say. We have pulled three ultra rares from legacy packs in a row. In a row. Um. Okay, a fissure. Man, I'm glad we're not doing the progression series right now because Isaac, I don't think you could win against no. <laughs> against, against what I've been no, pulling today. You have too much heat. I can't back that up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this is the, the climax of this video is gonna be pretty early because because <laughs> yeah. uh what? Okay, another lob pack. All right, what can we get in this? Masaki, the legendary swordsman, Dark King of the Abyss. All right, if there's a foil, it's gonna be here, King Fog. A flame swordsman. Another foil? What is this? Are these scaled packs? Like at first, I was like, oh, that's so funny. Isaac said they're scaled packs. I like, started to think they're scaled packs. Are they actually scaled packs? Okay, these. I mean, okay, I, 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 at first I was gonna tell you guys, oh, this is a great value because you're getting like a starter deck. You're getting like blah 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 yeah. blah. And then I was, and then I actually opened it, and I actually did get like the worst value, like the starter deck, and then these legacy packs, which okay, legacy packs are like seven bucks each, so really yeah. it's like twenty one bucks in legacy packs already, mm -hmm. but like, I'm also pulling like only foils out of my legacy packs. I if you guys don't know what scaling is, scaling is is basically you're weighing out the packs, and the foils are a little bit heavier than the other packs, so and you have to you have to measure it in like grams. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a very sensitive scale. Very very sensitive. You have to have, have a really very good scale for it, and uh, you can like tell, you can tell which ones have like the heavier packs. 
or they have, they have the foils because the foils are heavier. So I, that's why I set mentioned scaling because uh, that will, there's a little bit too much consistency for my taste there. I, I mean, maybe we're just lucky. Well, we did pull a triple of the uh, starter deck code breaker. Okay. So that it looks like a kind of, like kind of like other mystery boxes. They're just kind of like throwing in the same things all yeah. all the time. Which is, you know, it's whatever, like, it's not really what you want, but it's whatever. Okay, can we actually get five foils? Number 79, Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser. The good thing is, is these are, like, first editions. Okay, mm -hmm. so, the, again, this is this is not a foil. This is just a rare. This one's not even, this one's, like, damaged, too. Do you see that on the right, on the left side? Yeah. Okay, so that's weird. Well, that's uh, a foil. That's another Dark Lord uh, Ede Ere, a limited edition, though, so I'm pretty sure he's just from, uh, like, a special edition. Steel Swarm Sentinel is about to be like, this is not even a... Oh, Hidden Arsenal foil. Um, mm -hmm. That sucks, actually, because it's actually hard to sell Hidden Arsenals. Okay, so this one actually had, uh, well, four foils, because it didn't have the, um, it had another rare in it. Yeah. But at least we got, like, four foils and not, like, three foils in a common. Okay, and the same packs again. We pulled uh, one Metal Raiders and two Legend of Blue Eyes. So, like, in terms of value, I mean, technically, you are getting good value, because, like, the starter decks are, like, ten bucks retail, and then, like, these are, like, about seven dollars a piece. So really, like the extra foil cards you're getting are like just icing. But I mean, you're not really gonna make your money back on these. Is the problem because yeah. legacy packs are so wishy-washy with like giving you foils. Tainted wisdom. Oh, seven colored fish. Man, if we were doing progression series, I'd be just just destroying. Steel scorpion. Another foil. Are you kidding Seriously? me? Seriously. Tribute to the doomed. If all these packs have foils in it, I'm I'm in the belief that these are scaled. Masked Sorcerer, Hibikime, Flame Cerberus, ooh, another Swamp Battle Guard, and Uguchi. Yeah, in our Legacy Packs we've pulled... Wait, have we pulled a foil every pack? No. Not every pack, right? We, yeah, almost every pack. We, we've pulled three, six, six foils out of... Seven packs? Seven packs? What? What? Uh, okay. Wow, oh, this is... This is, uh... What is going on here? Okay, let's just keep going here. Frenzied Panda. Hinotama Soul. Red Medicine. Okay, finally we didn't we didn't pull a foil. Misa Resume. Aqua Medora. Fiend Reflection number two. Violet Crystal. Nimariko Sandstone. Okay, there we go. That's that's a bit more normal to not yeah. pull a foil on a legacy pack. Because I every time we start these videos we pretty much are always like, don't buy. These mystery boxes, because they're never a good value. And then you're like, oh, wow. But you guys pull such great things out of these mystery boxes. Follow Wind. Itatsumi Giant. Can we end this uh, Legacy Pack with a foil? Sure uh, can't. Okay. Turtle Tide. Oh, hey, Pot, of, Pot greed. of Greed. Oh, that's super cool. We'll set that aside. Legendary Sword. M Warrior number one. Remove Trap. Furious Sea King. And don't forget, we did have some little extra stuff to throw in here at the end. We got... I think it's uh, eight ignition assault packs to open up. So let's just get to it. See what we can pull. Unfortunately, I think all of our luck has basically been used. So yeah. But we will, we will, we will attempt. Ghost meets girl. Disposable learner device. Charge up heraldry. Curry curry gamma oil. Abominable unchained soul. Ancient warriors. Condolence puppet. Ghost trick fairy. Time three for retrograde. Hey, you know what? I definitely just cut my finger a little bit, like a little paper cut on my, on my uh, index finger there. So be careful when you're opening packs, kids, because they can't hurt you. They'll get you. It'll get you every time. Get you every time. Yeah, I basically bought these uh, ignition assaults just to get some OTS packs. Still haven't pulled the trap tricks for Felicia that I've talked about in like every single video now mm -hmm. because I can't get this trap tricks for Felicia. Oh, we pulled a secret rare, and we pulled like the worst secret rare in the set. So once again, I'm pulling all the secret rares out of my uh, local game store, so they're going to be like, why don't you want to buy these packs? Well, yes, I've pulled all the secrets, so, <laughs> so there's nothing there's nothing left in these packs. Uh, Time Thief Startup, Water Leviathan, Karakuri. All right, let's see. So I, I feel like I'm very unlikely to pull another secret, probably because they put like one side of the booster box in at a time. Yeah. Jeez, I just pulled the, I pulled the, either the left or right side's uh, secret rare right there. Megalith Haggith, Shiny Black Sea Squatter, Ghost Meets Girl in my Akashi Manuscript. Oh, an Ultra Rare, though. Hey. Purple Blob, Dion, 
Add Ignister. Bell Cat Fighter. Mutually for destruction. Condolence Puppet. Now we we're pulling a lot of hollows. Yeah. Uh, a lot of hollows. Those legacy packs, I'm still kind of in shock about it. Yeah, the legacy packs. You don't do that. That was wild. Squeak Knight. AI's Ritual. Charger Peraldi. Kara Curry, Super Shogun MDL Burrito. That's actually Burrito. Plunder Patrol Booty. Okay, we are definitely going to be building Plunder Patrols Wait, on, the, on this channel at, at some point. Some point. Because that is a, it's a fun... If, okay, meme decks have to be built, okay? And if they're meme in their name, yeah. you got to build them. Yeah. That's, it's like fur hires. Yeah. It's, it's like a rule or something. Resurgum, Resurgum XYZ. Cataclysmic Crusted Calc... Whatever the hell. Armory Call. Hey, that's actually a good card. Oh, Jacko Bolin. That's actually really good for zombie decks. Oh, we could have gotten this card as a Starlight Rare. Earth Charm. Goose Trick Fairy. Just, I'm just throwing cards on. Sorry, sorry, guys. Time 3 Retrograde. Time Thief Startup. AI Shadow. I think it's supposed to say, like, Eye Shadow or something like that. So we got uh, three packs left. We pulled one Ultra. We pulled one Secret. And I, my local game store, I'm pretty sure they just opened a booster box. So these are, like, set ratios. So I'm really unlikely to get, like, a lot more. I could probably get another Ultra, though. Daruma Dropper. Guard Ghost. Megalith Emergence. Megalith Aratron. Ancient Warrior Saga. Sun Liu Alliance. Trans Kikata. Holy shit, that's like a jelly blob. Whatever the fuck that is. Time Thief Startup. Bellcat Fighter. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. No, to know to get notified when we uh, upload a new video. Guard Ghost, Curry Curry Gamma, Time Three Chrono Quarter, Cataclysmic Crusted Calcifida, Wind Pegasus at Ignister. Ooh, Earth Golem at Ignister. That's actually a really good card for your super poly targets. Tie Strike, Bell Cat Fighter, Dragon Maid Send Off. I wonder if Dragon Maid Send Off is actually good in the Dragon Maids. All right, guys, last pack of the opening today. I'm just gonna say, can we end with a starlight? Can we end with can a starlight? A starlight, uh, starlight <laughs> lightning storm, please. That's what I want. Megalith Haggith, Ghost Meets Grill, and Mayakashi's manuscript. Daruma Dropper. Oh, hey. not. We did pull a uh, another Those ultra. Are... So I think we've pulled um. Oh my god, we pulled both ultras on this side of the box. Yeah. <laughs> and the secret, man. That, that my local game store is just gonna hate me. I I keep complaining to them that they have no Yu-Gi-Oh product to buy, and they're like, "Why don't you buy these packs that we just got in?" I'm like, well, I, I always pull all well. the. Yeah, I'm always like, "Well, I pulled both secrets, so there's nothing left." And then they just look at me like blank face, like they're <laughs> like, "What's that mean?" Anyways, Ancient Warrior Saga three visits for our beautiful ultra rare there. Plunder Patrol Shipyard, matching outfits. Konami two spell rocket. Curry Bonds, Kanamzen, and Megalithage. So we got quite a few cool cards today. Let's let's show you guys a little recap. We got some time. So out of our, uh, we actually got some pretty good rares today. We got Earth Golem at Ignister, really good super poly target for uh, just a lot of decks. Any deck that's really playing super poly is probably going to be playing Earth Golem at Ignister. Mm -hmm. So super good card. Pot of Greed. I mean, need I say more? Fissure. I just like Fissure. I think Fissure's kind of iconic to me because it's just like a really, really, really good spell card from like LOB. Like, I think mm -hmm. Fissure was kind of like yeah. too powerful when it came out. And then Cannon Soldier because uh, how is this card not banned yet? Because it's like this card should just say FTK machine or like I'm busted. So I kind of set that aside. Then we got one beautiful secret rare sales pitch, which is honestly a awful card. It's like a dollar. Mm -hmm. It's like the worst one you can get. And let's let's check out these uh, beautiful hollows here. Some of these are from Ignition Assault. Some of these are from our guaranteed. See, there's an Ignition Assault one. We got Wind Pegasus at Ignister. I guess I'll show these with it. So our two beautiful Ultras, Ancient Warrior Saga 3 visits, Doyen at Ignister, Wind Pegasus at Ignister, Megalith Aratron, Jack O'Bolan, Kyra Curry Super Shogun MDL Baribo, Sky Dragoons of Draconia, which is a, a limited edition. That's how you can tell that it's from like a, a special edition. It's like one of the guaranteed um, mm -hmm. hollows in there, so it's not worth like probably crap. Dragoons of Draconia, another limited edition, especially because it's Secrets of Eternity. Abominable Unchained Soul, that's from our Ignition Assault. 
And uh, see, this is actually really bad because a lot of places that'll do buy lists, they actually won't buy hollows from Hidden Armory because they're just so bad. So th this is like a first edition Hidden Armory, but it's like, can't even sell it. Dragon Horn Hunter, another limited edition there. Dark Lord Ede Ere, and I, we actually got a play set of these limited editions. I don't know where they're from. I'll have to uh, have to see. We got two Hum Humming the Key de Jins. Uh, we got one number 79 Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser. And then for our other foils. Oh, wait. Nope. That's not a fucking foil. That's a Gear Gear Arsenal, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, there's our two foil Smashing Grounds. Oh, wait. These are literally just commons. I don't know why they counted those as foils. Ignite Lancer for our uh, foil. And uh, a beautiful Hope for Escape, which is also not a foil. And then, what you guys have all been waiting for, our beautiful Tribute to the Doomed, Flame Swordsman, Gaia the Fierce Knight. Also, look at this card. That is flawless. Yeah. Centering on that. We're actually going to put this in a penny sleeve probably right away because this is like, oh my, this is like a flawless card. I'm talking perfect centering and everything. That is a beautiful pull right there. Let's take a look at this next one. Yeah, also, look at this. I mean, a little bit, a little bit above, I feel like, possibly the, a little bit above and to the right, but this is almost a flawless, solemn judgment as well. This could definitely be graded. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the old card text, too. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really good condition. Like, really good cut. And the one that I was worried about might be the worst off center. No, these these packs were really good for centering. Look at this. Uh, again, a little bit on the right. It's like a little off center, but it's not like if you look at our uh, power tool dragon in our last video, that one you can clearly tell is off center. These ones are in very good condition. That's a l right leg of the forbidden one. Let's put it, go ahead and put that into a uh, penny sleeve real quick. And then our last one, our Sangha of the Thunder. Yeah, I don't know what these were, but these are all very good condition, very good centering. I mean, I guess I didn't check the back for any scuffing, but, like, if you look at this one, there's, like, nothing on there. Oh, no, you can kind of see there's a print line right there. So I'll have to check the other ones out, see if they have a print line at all either. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see us open next. And if you enjoyed the opening today... I sure did. These were those new mystery power boxes from Target. So, thanks everybody for watching. Good luck, have fun, and don't get lost. See ya. Later.